Well, good afternoon, and thank you for joining us as we announce EVSC's Hall of Fame Class of 2022. I'm Ellie Senna Martin, president of the EVSC Foundation, which proudly sponsors this program to benefit EVSC students and teachers. As we get started, I would like to acknowledge key people whose support enables us to present you this year's honorees and upcoming celebration, including the EVSC Board of Trustees, Chris Kiefer, Reverend Terry Gamblin, Karen Ragland, Ann Ennis, Andrew Guarino, and David Hollingsworth, as well as Dr. Smith, EVSC Superintendent, co-chairs of the upcoming EVSC Hall of Fame celebration, Ms. Lana Burton, Scott Evernham, Jill Lucy, Bob Jones, and Pat Shoulders, and EVSC communications staff, Jason Wupkenberg, Sarah DeWitt, and Luke Smith. We also extend a warm welcome and thank you to members of this year's selection committee who are joining us this afternoon. We are grateful for all your support and assistance. And so it is my pleasure to introduce to you Dr. David Smith, who served as a selection committee member to share a few words about the EVSC Hall of Fame. Thank you, Ellie. Before I share with you the judging procedure and the names of the remaining judges, I'd like to share some information about the 2022 EVSC Hall of Fame. When selecting the 2022 EVSC Hall of Fame inductees, judges reviewed nominations received from the entire community from the months of September through October. The EVSC Hall of Fame honors distinguished individuals who exemplify outstanding achievement in their lives and who have made a positive impact on public education in the greater community. Likewise, the EVSC Hall of Fame emphasizes the importance of service to community and inspires current EVSC students to seek excellence in their own education as well as their future careers. All nominations were shared with a selection committee who then reviewed the nominations and selected 13 truly outstanding individuals. The judges were extremely impressed with the high caliber of all nominees and they agreed that the nominees not selected this year will receive full consideration for the 2024 EVSC Hall of Fame. The EVSC is fortunate to have so many talented individuals who care about the success of EVSC students as well as public education. Members of the 2022 EVSC Hall of Fame Selection Committee, please stand as I recognize you. John C.O., Hall of Fame Class of 2014. Brad Ellsworth, Hall of Fame Class of 2018 and Carrie Morton, EVSC Foundation Board Chair, who could not be here today, as well as Ellie Sina Martin, who is the EVSC Foundation President, and Neethi Moore, the EVSC Foundation Program and Event Coordinator. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce you to John Seal, Brad Ellsworth, and Neethi Moore, who will present the EVSC Hall of Fame Class of 2022 inductees. Thank you, Dr. Smith. As a member of the selection committee, it's my pleasure to announce part of the inductees for this year. First, Dr. Jeffrey Balzer, MD, PhD, the Dean of Vanderbilt University School of Medicine, the President and CEO of Vanderbilt University Medical Center, and a Harrison High School graduate. Next, Mr. Anthony Calhoun, also known as AC. He is the main anchor for Wish TV in Indianapolis, an Emmy award-winning uh, individual with prestigious Pathfinder Award recipient and Indiana Sports Corporation. He is a Bossy High School graduate. Dr. Idris Cooper, the co-founder of Glory Foods Incorporated, the first minority-owned food product line in the nation. She is a Bossy High School graduate and a recipient of the 2008 Woman of Economic and Leadership Development Award. Next is Mrs. Alicia Gaddis. She is an Emmy Award winning actress, six time Emmy nominated uh, actress and producer, two time Latin Grammy Award winning performer and producer, best selling author, and is a graduate of Wrights High School. Next is Mr. Brian Hancock. Brian is uh, with Evansville Market. He's the president and EPIC insurance brokers and consultants. Uh, 
let me do that again. Evansville Market President, e, EPIC Insurance Brokers and Consultants, and is a graduate of Bossy High School. He is also the past president and retired board member of the EVSC Foundation and is a strong advocate for public education and the EVSC Corporation. Next is Brad Ellsworth, who will continue with the inductee nomination. Thank you, John. It's an honor for me to uh, be included in this group and, and be part of the review group. I know you hate when we ad lib, Mr. Wipkenberg, but uh, there's probably many teachers. You, Dr. Smith, you said 2018 I was inducted. There's probably many of my teachers from EVSC that said what and scratched their head, but it's just an honor for me to be here today and announce uh, as a 1976 graduate of Harrison High School uh, to announce the nomination of a 79 graduate of Harrison High School. Mr. Jeff Justice is the president of Hafer. He's a graduate of Harrison High School, like I said, 1979, and a recipient of the Southwest Indiana Chamber, Richard Slotman Business Person of the Year in 2012, and Leadership Evansville, the Regional Impact Award. Another couple of good friends of mine, you'll recognize the names, Mr. Michael Madriaga, a North High School alumna, inductee of the Indiana Sports, U of E, North High School's Hall of Fame, and he had a 31-year career as a teacher, a coach, and a curriculum supervisor. As an administrator, he led the sanction of soccer, softball, and swimming. And not too far from Mike, Miss Sandy, you know this couple, Sandy or Sandra Madriaga, a Rex Mundy High School alumna, creator of the International Newcomers Academy, had a 40-year career as a French, English, and ESI teacher, a department chair, a curriculum supervisor, and director. Mike and Sandra co-created and co-anchored the EVSC newsletter, a weekly television program highlighting EVSC students and the staff. And also Mr. Bruce Newman, the first recipient of the William R. Reed Award for Sports Writing at a student newspaper in the Big Ten that was in 1973. He graduated from Central High School. He wrote for Sports Illustrated, the New York Times, the San Jose Mercury News, and the Los Angeles Times. And now for the remaining uh, nominees, Ms. Needy Moore will now be sharing the final applicant or recipients. Thank you, Mr. Ellsworth. It's my pleasure to continue announcing our remaining inductees. Um, Mr. Niles Noblet, a graduate of North High School and Rose-Hulman Institute of Technology, is known throughout the international world of orthopedics as the co-founder of Biomet, a company specialized in reconstructive products for orthopedic surgery, neurosurgery, craniomaxillofacial surgery, aka face surgery, um, and operating room supplies. Mr. James, also known as Jim Sharp, graduate of Owensville High School, served as a North High School teacher, counselor, assistant principal and principal for his career of over 50 years. He was also the recipient of District Principal of the Year and Indiana's Principal of the Year. Dr. Terry Tabor, PhD, the Chief Technical Officer of Kodak, is also an alumnus of North High School. Dr. Tabor currently serves on the Executive Advisory Board of FIRST for Inspiration and Recognition in Science and Technology, Rochester, New York. And our final inductee of class of 2022 is Dr. Melby Wellborn, Jr., MD, FACS. The Performance Improvement Medical Director of Deaconess Regional Trauma Center is a 1955 graduate of Wrights High School. He's also the recipient of the Army Commendation Medal, Vietnam Cross of Gallantry, and the Bronze Star for his life-saving service and acts of heroism in the U.S. Army. I'd like to present Elisana Martin again to the podium. Thank you. Thank you, Neethi and all who joined us this afternoon. As you can see, this is an amazing set of individuals, an incredible group that are a constellation of stars, not just for their personal accomplishments, but also for what they represent for our students in many different fields. So from music to communications to healthcare, uh, these are great representatives of what we hope our graduates will be like in the future. And so, we want to be honored and honoring them uh, throughout this process for the 2022 Hall of Fame. And so I wanted to invite you personally to mark your calendars for March 8th, 2023, when we will be having an induction ceremony and celebration dinner and there 
uh, an evening to remember on their behalf. And then if there's any questions for the media, Dr. Smith, John, Brad, Neethi, or I will be happily able to share um, questions and answers. Thank you.